And I think that T left when she did because uh, it was my time to assume the responsibility that is more difficult for me, but I hope that I can rise to the occasion for whatever time there is left for this task. If they were really these other beings that weren't, weren't really in this body, um, this body had nothing to do with them, why then did she die a very human death of cancer? So this was one of the snafus that, that uh, Doe had to deal with. That was a very tough one for me because T and I thought that we just knew, it seemed, that we would both be here for the full duration of the task, and it didn't occur to us that one might leave prior to the other one leaving. One of the most powerful forces in religion suddenly um, reared its head there. It's what we call cognitive dissonance. The moment in which an event occurs that seems to undermine your very theology, your very doctrine. The basic idea of Heaven's Gate up to that moment was that you would chemically and biologically transform your body from being a human being into becoming a next level alien. And then you would physically get on board the UFO which would sail off into heaven. What happens when Bonnie Lou Nettles, when T, dies? The vehicle broke down, and humans would say, well, the vehicle died. And so how can you say she left her vehicle? The explanation which is given to members is that it looked to us like she was suffering from cancer. But in fact, her next level consciousness burnt up her human body. Cognitive dissonance comes in. Your faith system shifts to make room for the event. It tested me, it tested the class, and we're all 10 feet taller because of it. 